Hello, welcome to Rupa's online tutorials. Today we are going to look about one important operation of data structures that is traversal of arrays. Before that you can see I have drawn a chart like this so that it is easy for us to remember the different operations that we are going to learn on a single dimensional array. Okay, so you can see that I have drawn it in the chart form. So I would give a tip that you also draw it like this and keep it aside when you are learning these uh, algorithms and programs related to data structures. It will become much more easier. So mainly we will be looking at single dimensional array, two dimensional arrays. You will only learn the row major and uh, column major order and the memory representation of two dimensional array. Okay, so you can see here the different operations that I have put here. First, we have traversing or visiting each and every element of an array. And then the second operation is insertion, that is to insert an element in an array. Then we have deletion to delete or remove an element from an array. We have searching, two types of searching we have to learn as linear search and binary search. So I will be telling in detail about all this. Sorting, you have the insertion sort. That is in there in your scope of studies, though there are other sorts like merge sort, um, bubble sort, etc. And lastly, you have merging. Here we are not going to learn any. Uh, we'll just learn the definitions. That's all about what is merging. There are no algorithms or programs on merging. Okay, so this is how the chart looks like. Please prepare a chart like this and do the uh, start studying data structures. Now coming to traversing, uh, you have to learn both the algorithm and the program. For insertion also you have to learn the algorithm and the program. Insertion is actually a practical program that you have. Deletion also you have an algorithm program. Linear search algorithm program. Binary search also algorithm program. Insertion sort also algorithm program. So you can see that there are around six algorithms and programs that you have to be well prepared for the exam. And it will be definitely asked, at least uh, uh, two algorithms are asked, either uh, two algorithms in the five marks and one and the three marks is asked. So it's quite important this chapter. Okay, so first we will look at traversing. What is meant by traversing? I said traversing in simple words means visiting, okay, each and every element of the array. For example, if you have to give your uh, invitation card uh, to your family, okay, there is a wedding in your house, then you will go and visit all your relatives, no? That is called traversing. So, it is the process of visiting each subscript at least once from the beginning to the last element. Is it clear? So, at least once you are going to visit every element. So, if you see here, I have an array here, int a, and here, I am having the elements 5, 10, 15, 20, 25 and 30. Okay. So, the array elements have to be exactly gone once. Okay. So, n is 6. So, 5, 10, 15, 20, 25 and 30 is there. So, that's what you mean by traversing. So, I am going to visit all these elements one by one. Okay. So, this is called traversing. Now, we are going to look at the algorithm for traversing. Okay, this was asked for three marks, this algorithm, in your uh, last year midterm and your uh, preparatory exams. So, the question will be like this, write an algorithm to traverse the elements of a array. Okay, it will be for three marks. Algorithm will be for three marks. So, before we start with the algorithm, we have to uh, briefly explain the algorithm. That is important. Okay. So, we are, what are the uh, variables or elements that you are going to use in the algorithm. And whenever the word algorithm comes, you should know that algorithms are definite steps. Okay, definite steps to write the programming code. Before writing the programming code, this tool is used. You would have learned it in your first PUC about problem solving techniques in that you would have learned the algorithm flowchart. So, here we are going to write the steps. So, let us start our algorithm for traversal of an array. First, we I am going to write, let A be a linear array. Linear array or just array. The name of the array is A. Okay. And LB is equal to lower bound. Lower bound means the first element of the array. So, whatever be the first element of the array. Generally, we start from 0. Isn't it? UB means the upper bound. Upper bound is N minus 1. That means if there are 10 elements in an array, we start from 0, isn't it? So, it will be 
zero will be the lower bound, and upper bound will be n minus one. Okay, so it means ten minus one nine, and then we are going to have one more uh, one more element called process. That is the operation which is going to access each and every element in a array. So we are calling that as process. Okay, operation to traverse the array. So this is a very easy uh, algorithm. Only three steps are there. Remember that, and it is for three marks. Two times it was asked for three marks. So is this clear? So we have an operation to traverse each an element of an array, and we have an LOC which is telling the location of the array. So in the exam also you can just write it like this. Just write the what it contains, and then start with the steps. So what will be the step one? So we have started with linear array, lower bound, upper bound, and then the process. Okay. So the lower bound means you have to remember zero, but you don't need to write that. Just understand n minus one. Okay. Now we will write the algorithm. So step one. Okay. What we have, what we are going to say, we are going to put a for loop because we are going to each and every element of an array. Okay. For L O C. Is equal to lower bound. That is the first element to the last element. L B to U B. What we are going to do? Process. You have to go to the location, isn't it? So you will write A is the name of the array, array of the location, and we are going to end the for loop. For is there? We have end of for. Is this clear? Okay, end of for. That's all is algorithm. And step two. You will just say exit. Okay, so if you write these three lines, you get three marks. It's very easy. Remember and write. Okay, so this program already I have posted in the in my previous video. So uh, that is to access each, to print and display elements of an array. I have already posted that in my previous video. Please watch that. That is nothing but you are traversing the array. You are moving to each and every element of the array and displaying the array. So that is called as traversing of array. Okay. Hope so. This is clear. So after this, we will be going to the next algorithm. Please learn well for your exams and all the best. Thank you.